In this video, I'll show you how I roll a cellophane cone for lettering. For this demonstration, I'll be using treat bags that can be found at most craft stores. I start by stacking two or three bags together and using a personal tabletop trimmer. A small binder clip will keep them together while I'm trimming them. My goal is to cut off the folded edges that create the gutter of the treat bag. I'm trimming off about an eighth to a quarter of an inch of each side. Then I'll cut about five inches in length. I like to cut my sheets about four by five inches or four by six inches. I'll just remove the trimmed gutter and then I have sheets ready for rolling. If you don't have a paper trimmer, you can also accomplish this by using a cutting mat, a metal edge ruler, and a rotary knife. Again, I'll stack about two or three bags together and use the binder clip to hold them secure while trimming. I'll cut about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch off each side. This set of cellophane bags was a little bit shorter than my last set, so I'll only be able to make one five inch pass. Once I have a nice stack of cellophane sheets, I'll begin rolling. I start by pre-cutting some scotch gloss finish transparent tape. I'll use this sheet of copy paper to demonstrate my rolling technique. The point I'm holding down with my left hand will become the tip of the cone. With the other hand, I'm taking the edge and rolling it up and over my index or middle fingers. Holding the tip, I'll continue to roll until I have a nice, neat cone. Continuing around until a small corner remains. This is the corner that I'll add the cellophane tape to, to finish sealing the seams. This method leaves the tip nice and open in a round opening.
Now we'll move to the cellophane. Same technique, just a little bit in from the left edge, I'll hold the point with my left hand and take the opposite hand and roll the cellophane up and over my index and pointer finger. I insert the straight pin just to hold my opening steady and then roll around until I have the corner to add the cellophane tape to seal the seam. I prefer my cones long and narrow, so I roll them pretty tightly. Here's my view of rolling the cone and I've slowed this video down to about two thirds the speed so you can see. I'm holding the place where I would like my tip to form and then taking the opposite corner and rolling it up and over my index or pointer finger. I'll continue to roll it around, pulling it tight and making sure that the tip stays secure. Inserting a straight pin to keep the tip open and continuing to roll around the cone until I reach the corner that I'm going to add the tape to seal. I add the tab of tape to this corner and then continue to roll the cone between my fingers nice and tightly, allowing the tape to seal the seam. The tip is a nice round pinhole opening. Once rolled, these are ready to fill with any medium you might need. For more information on this or other posts in this series, visit creatively.com slash loveyourlettering2.